Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing a review of the European markets for the trading session. We have is the 1st of March, that's Thursday, 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can directly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Also, be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus. Okay, in terms of uh, market stats, then European markets certainly. Uh, uh, on their swoon, okay, certainly to be lower quite substantially, especially Euro stocks, the, the German DAX certainly under pressure, the French CAC under pressure, the FTSE certainly breaking that 7200 support zone as well, certainly seems like uh, Brexit uncertainty and uh, the uh, bearish uh, forecast from WPP certainly hurting the uh, the actual market. Okay, so uh, again, important, very, very important in terms of the, uh, the actual future direction of the market at present. In terms of uh, Economic data then for this morning, we've had Chinese data overnight, certainly coming in stronger than expected. One would have uh, expected that to be a bullish, uh, obviously, uh, aspect of fact, and expected the market to move higher. That hasn't been the case, unfortunately, it's failed to do so. Uh, in terms of China, Chinese market certainly higher as well, shaking off the weakness. In terms of uh, CHF, GA, GDP data certainly coming in line. Uh, nationwide house prices, UK house prices certainly falling. Uh, GDP numbers from Spain coming in line. Uh, in terms of the PMI data in France, uh, certainly coming in weaker, but the uh, stronger numbers from Germany and uh, the Eurozone in general, certainly helping sentiment from that perspective. UK PMI data as well, certainly stronger than expected, and UK mortgage approvals stronger than expected as well. So, interesting scenario. Let's see how the market plays out so far. It certainly seems like the market's uh, certainly uh, moving uh, lower on the back of, obviously, uh, weaker commodity prices, stronger dollar, given the fact that Mr. Powell... Uh, certainly uh, rekindled phase in the US last night and caused a sell-off in the uh, equity market. So let's see if that can continue. That's uh, that's that's that'll be in, that the uh, that'll be interesting to see how that can maintain its uh, its weakness. Okay, in terms of the uh, technical picture, then so the German DAX certainly falling quite substantially as you can see here. 60-minute chart. One would have expected the support zone to hold be at, to to certainly hold at 12270. That hasn't been the case. If we fail to hold here, then you are looking at 12190. And potentially going back, going back down to 12,100. Okay, on the daily chart as well, German DAX certainly falling quite considerably. Uh, again, not expecting this to be low, certainly expecting it to be short lived. Certainly not expecting it to be a long lived at all. Okay, so again, uh, a retracement here, a 60 minute chart on the uh, foot on the DAX as well. Then support zone has breached at 12,270. Even with the euro falling below 12,200, which is quite interesting. Okay, let's move on in terms of the FTSE 100. Then FTSE 100 certainly uh, uh, under immense pressure. Daily chart, as you can see here, falling quite substantially. Now this uh, support here at this bottoming tail certainly is going to come into play. Let's see if we can hold that support level. 60-minute chart again. You had support around the 12, the 7190, and then you had support 717200. That certainly hasn't held, as you can see here. Certainly failed thus far, and now we're looking to test that support at 7190. If that were to crack, then you are looking at support down below at 7165, and then you've got support at 7146. So let's see if we can maintain that 10 minute chart. Again, you had lots of support around the 7190 zone, and then you've got support below at 7186. So this level will be absolutely instrumental. Okay, we've got the unfilled gap above. If the market doesn't decide to reverse, you're looking at 7230. We're testing 7240, then potentially pushing higher up to 7270. So let's see if we can test that uh, potential level, okay, in terms of the remainder of the day. Okay, moving on to the French CAC then. French CAC certainly very, very bearish at the moment. You do have horizontal support down here at 75250. If we crack that, then you are looking at gap fill at 5220. Now, yesterday's weaker inflation numbers uh, again came out of the Eurozone. Again, that should support the market from a technical perspective. Uh, and even a fundamental perspective, given the fact that Mr. Draghi is going to maintain his dovey stance. So certainly looking for a pop higher on the European equities, especially given the fact that uh, German numbers and European economic data certainly was stronger as well. So a key level here, key level sort of support on the French CAC. 10-minute charts, you can see horizontal support here. Okay, we've got unfilled gap above. Uh, that would be the target on any potential reversal now. You're looking at 5320 potential gap fill above so watch out for that key gap uh, gap fill level in the foreseeable future on the french cac okay european equity certainly taking a turn for the worse this morning and whether it's linked to the media sector whether it links to stronger dollar which is hurting commodities 
certainly is uh, up for debate from that perspective. Okay, in terms of um, the euro stocks, last but not least, again, this is an index that certainly has surprised me this morning as well, given the fact that yesterday it showed immense strength. It certainly seems to have reversed at that gap fill level quite sharply. We are now into gap fill support around the 3390s on, not expecting that to crack. 60 minute chart, I failed to hold that Fib 75% support as well, retracement. Okay, so I was expecting that to hold, that hasn't held, or held either. So again, interesting scenario here, back at 3400 now, let's see if we can bounce and make it back up to gap fill, which is um, above. Uh, the gap fill level is seen around the uh, 3440 zone. That's the level that I was expecting uh, for the markets to potentially reverse and hit, but that hasn't been the case this morning. It certainly seems like a lot of the negative factors certainly are overwhelming the uh, equity print picture at present okay so that certainly is a summation of european equities uh, from my perspective european equities should be the more bullish uh, potential candidate due to the uh, weaker inflation numbers yesterday which in turn obviously cements the federal reserve or should we say ecb should i say european central bank of maintaining a dovish stance on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and uh, visit trade signal for the latest app goodbye now.